Hello, good morning. Welcome back. Welcome to the show Monday Live and week 28 uh, of Monday Live. So now we are talking, is it a second wave or is it not? Well, let me tell you um, from the head of the scientific committee that combated uh, the coronavirus in Egypt, uh, it was stated that uh, to reach a second wave, you have to zero down or to go to zero, then to start the numbers of infection again. Uh, so here, we, the only country which has made this is China. So we can claim that China has already the second wave. And the other condition or terms for the second wave is that to have at least a 5% of the highest day or rate of infection in one day. So this also nobody has reached this. We didn't reach zero and we didn't reach um, 5% of the highest infection date. Most of all the countries in Europe everywhere, they didn't reach zero to start a second wave. Only in China, they reach zero and then they started the infection again and this for sure is the second wave. I don't know if this is a bad news or a good news, but this is the state and we have to deal with it. Uh, and from this statement, it seems that we are still all running in the same first wave. Uh, let me continue the topic of last time, which was the power of habits. And uh, today I will talk about the goals and the system and the difference between a goal and a system. The goal, we all know the goal. The goal is something that we set to ourselves. We want to reach it badly uh, and we can do anything to reach our goals. The system, the system it is exactly behind the habits we create. It is what really matters. It is the, uh, we always ask ourselves, is it the right system? Is it the correct system to achieve your goal? What matter here is that you are getting better every day. And this is the, the beauty of the system and the importance of the system. So let me tell you, there are six difference between a goal and a system. A goal, the importance of a goal is that you are setting yourself a direction. So you know where you are going and everything you do should be in the direction of achieving your goal. The system uh, is best at making progress. So you put what are the action needed from me? What are the steps that I should do? Uh, and what is the process? Uh, so this is very important because it is the backbone of the goal actually. Uh, when do problems arise? Problems arise when you spend too much time thinking about your goal and too little time or no time at all thinking about designing the system or thinking about the system behind the goal. Number three, the difference between the goal and the, the system is that the goal is always there. It is something like unachieved. But the system uh, is, uh, is something going on. It is something continuously going on. You can refine, redefine, you can improve, you can change the system, all to adjust and to reach the goal. So it is something going on. Whereas the goal is something, while it, when it is unachieved, then you are upset, you are not happy. When it is achieved, you, you are uh, happy, but it can be momentarily not going on. So that's the, the difference between the two. I want to give an example today of uh, a goal versus uh, a system. Uh, and the example I will give is the, the topic of last or the, the week before last time of Monday life, which is decluttering. Assume your goal is to declutter the house uh, in two days, for example. So you do, you do the decluttering, but afterward you rebound back and you find the clutters uh, there in your house, maybe after a week, after two weeks, after a month or so on. So here you didn't address the cause. You only treated the symptoms of the clutters in the house. So you did not solve the problem actually. However, changing the system, you will by changing the system, you will get definitely different result and you will get the declutter complete. You go to the cause of the clutters in the house, you solve it and you keep on going on. You keep on progressing. You keep on uh, redefining the process itself. So it is an ongoing process and it, 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 it has with it uh, the joy, the contentment, the effort and the progress that you can see every day. So you are happy as long as you are progressing even 1% every day. Number five. 
And this I stated within the talk is that goals is very limiting to your happiness because I will be happy only when I achieve this, when I reach that, I will be happy when I get promoted, when I uh, uh, change the company I work for, when I get married, when I have children, when I succeed uh, in my university, when I win this game. So it is very self-limiting. So you limit your happiness to the moment you achieve the goal. While the process, you can fall in love with the process, not the product. So you are happy as long as the system is running or as long as the system is going on, as long as you are making the effort, as long as you are progressing. Uh, and it's, it's a continuous, actually, contentment, continuous uh, process. And I can claim that it is a sustainable, uh, a sustainable happiness or process. Because while you, so you are solving the problem by the system, to reach the goal, then you uh, you guarantee a sustainable goal once achieved. You, gu you guarantee a sustainable uh, objective and of course a sustainable happiness. And this is what I'm talking about. So you solve, you go to the root problem, you, the root cause of the problem. You do not go to the goal itself and just achieve it once, but you want to always keep on going. And to explain this more, I will go to number six. Let's say that the goal, my goal is to win the, this uh, game. So what is the system? The system is to continue playing this game, improving, refining my process, uh, getting better every day, getting this 1% every day. So by, by, uh, by in the long run, it will have a compound interest or uh, a long-term benefit and a long-term sustainability of my goal and of my happiness. Well, I hope I made it clear today. Uh, if you have any question, please do not hesitate to write down uh, the video, your question, and I'll make sure to answer uh, them all. Uh, and we talked today about the difference between a goal and a system and why the system is more important than the goal. Uh, I leave you with a happy Monday, uh, a great start of the week ahead and uh, stay safe, stay blessed. See you soon and bye for now. Bye.